We have the front ones done already. That's a, I mean, that was pretty painless. Hey everybody, Ethan here with Standing Stone and I have a brand new puppy pocket. This little girl is part of the El Tesoro program and is being raised by Isaac, but I wanted to take the opportunity while she was here today to talk about something that's really important with a new puppy. That is nail maintenance, okay? Why is it so important with a new puppy? Their nails, first of all, as little puppies grow a lot and they're pretty sharp. And also they're very impressionable at this stage and setting the foundation for the rest of her life as nail maintenance is something she's going to have to do until she crosses the rainbow bridge, we need to start that now. What we typically do with young puppies is trim and grind, um, but if you are staying on top of it, it's one of those things that you won't necessarily need to trim and grind each time. And even with little bitty puppies like this, Grinding is kind of still the easiest thing to do. So that's what we're actually going to be doing with Pocket today. Her nails don't need a lot, which is something that I want to stress. Your dog's nails shouldn't look awful or shouldn't need a big trim in order for you to think that it's time to do this. When we work with little puppies like this though, we typically do it while they're on their back and we take a good amount of time just to work through this process. It has nothing to do with the actual nail maintenance stuff. It's more prepping them to be prepared, to be ready to have their nails trimmed and be acceptable of that. Most puppies are squirming. They're also a lot of times bitey in this situation. And there's a number of different things that can help you. One of which on their back, you can kind of pinch them with your legs to kind of give you that extra hand, if you will. And then the other is keeping a hand higher up on their chest or my forearm on their chest to help hold her. And we give her some time to settle into this. And she's doing a pretty good job. She's had her nails. She's a puppy from our program. She's a Mako Arlo puppy. And she's had her nails trimmed basically every week since she was, uh, basically every week since she was born. And so she's pretty good at it, but still, as they grow, you're going to see some waves through progressions in training. More so with versatile dogs, I think, or hunting breeds and things of that nature. They go through a spell of things can be kind of easy right off the bat or seem like, oh, wow, this is going to be a breeze. And then they hit those almost terrible two category in the three to five month zone and you're gonna see more pushback. She's doing a really good job right now, and you should take advantage of these times for good love, affection, attention zones as well. We're gonna go ahead and get started. I have a um, Dremel dog, it's a Dremel light grinder, and it's got a little grinding band on it, and we're just going to hit those to kind of smooth them out and take a little bit off. If your dog doesn't like this, they get extra squirmy here. There's a fine line with how we move through this process. Some of it is only do a little bit at a time and help them to get used to the process. Um, with dogs like her, I know she's already pretty much used to the process. Um, it can be different depending on where you get your puppy from. But the other side is she can only relax and lay here and settle through this for so long. As you can see, I'm kind of moving my arm here. I didn't shut the grinder off. We'll go back in for a little bit more. Um, I'm, no, she's nibbling a little bit. Just help her to settle. It's a, it's a fine line between helping her settle and her being able to focus on doing this. So the quicker you move through this process, the better off you're going to be while not actively letting her get out of it. There's a couple little nibbles there. I'm not acting um, positively or negatively to those because they're not bad. Ultimately, I mean, there's times where it can hurt just a little bit, but no reaction is in a sense a reaction. And if it doesn't get them what they're looking for, then usually it goes away on its own. If it escalates, then that's a different situation. And that's where reaching out to us at patreon.com slash standing stone kennels, our online dog training community. That's where we're set up to help you with custom things, things that are specific to your dog and how you're training and what you're struggling with. If you're looking for a 
step-by-step guide to your new puppy's development, I would look at standingstonesupply.com slash courses. We have an online course that shows you basically, like I said, step-by-step what to do when a weekly checklist, a daily routine, as well as gives you additional um, discounts to the other resources that we have, like an online supply store to get all of your dog training needs for bird dogs. And we do one-on-one courses or one-on-one, excuse me, video chats to help you. We just have a conversation, talk about where you're at, meet your dog, meet you guys, and then be able to guide you through a training session or kind of help walk through the path of where you need to be with things. We have the front ones done already. That's a, I mean, that was pretty painless. She squirmed around a little bit. I helped her to settle. Now we're going to go ahead and reach down for these bottom ones. Again, I'm using my arm as a extra hold you here. She's looking around. She's squirming a little bit, but let's roll through these and then I'll show you how we typically finish these sessions out. So pretty minimal pressure that I've got here, just enough to kind of keep her in place. Some grumbles, some groans. I know, life is rough, little girl. Taking the ends off of that, smoothing them out. The backs are going to be different than the fronts. So um, always look at those. And if you're looking for more information on specifics of nail training, we have a trimming, excuse me, we have a bunch of videos, including one we have labeled Nail Trimming Masterclass. If you go on YouTube here and you search Nail Trimming Masterclass, Standing Stone, it'll pull that video up as well as a number of different ones that we show the specifics of where the quick is, how much to trim, how much to grind, and we walk through that with a bunch of different dogs there. This is more about the process. Um, Now that her nails are done for this session, we just spend a little bit more time loving. She's given me some licks. That's a good sign. Um, She's settled out here. Make this about you and your new puppy. It's a good thing for them to get used to their ears being rubbed. It's a good thing for them to have their mouth played with, their paws being worked around with. And then ultimately, folks, um, after a few minutes, if your puppy has settled, you can go ahead, good, and let them up. And it's so important. This is the time to do it. Get started with your brand new puppy. If you haven't started with a new puppy and you're looking at this as an option, definitely reach out to us. There's uh, different tips and tricks that we can help if you're struggling with an adult dog. I'm the guy with the pink gun. This is Pocket. You will definitely, whoop, you will definitely be seeing her in some more videos in the future. I hope you enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next video.